Hey guys, so I made this portal for a video, and I thought the way I did it was pretty cool, and it's not too many nodes. So yeah, let's go. So the way I modeled it was with a circle. I extruded it out with E to, to extrude, S to scale, Shift to Z to scale it on every single axis except Z. So it's perfectly flat. Okay, and that's all the modeling we need to do. So make a new material, use the UV coordinates. So basically what we're going to do is take the UV map and make it into a perfect and make it into a straight line. So what's, what that's going to do is take whatever texture we put it into here and wrap it around perfectly. Um, yeah. It'll make more sense once we do it. Okay, make a UV map. Select any face on there. And we're going to make this into a perfect square, perfect box. So how I made it flat right there was I selected an edge. I scaled it on whatever axis I want to make flat. So in this case, Y. And then press 0. And then do it again. In this case, I'll do X and X. Select all of that. Press A to select all the faces. And now we're going to UV map it on follow active quads. So now it's a perfect, so now it's a line. We're going to scale it so it, so it perfectly fits in this box. I'm saying perfectly a lot, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be close. And now we're going to bring it all the way to the other side by bringing this X to 1. The way I opened up that menu was by pressing N. And then we're going to bring that side to 0. Okay. And that's the UV map. So now this is going to make more sense why we did that when we separate it by X. Because now you see it's a perfect gradient going from the inside to the outside. And now what we're going to do is get, a, is get a math and a noise, plug it into there. And it's not really noticeable right now. So I'm just going to duplicate this, put it there. And yeah, there we go. Scale that up. Now, I don't, I want the black to be on the outside, because right now this is basically a mask where I want the outside to be invisible. So I'm going to get an invert, put it there. There we go. Scale that down a little bit more, bring that up. That's kind of the, the look I want to go for. Okay, so now there's a problem. It's an, it's an invisible problem, but it'll be noticeable once we put it into an alpha. And if we do that, you'll see uh, to make an alpha work on Eevee, you got to change the blend mode to alpha blend. Is that the edges have these white blotches and we want to go for a seamless look. So the way to fix that is by duplicating these, plugging the X into there, and then duplicating that, change it to multiply, and plugging this one into there. And then we just play around with it until we get something like that. Now, Plug this one into the alpha. Uh, yeah, you gotta play around with it a little bit more. You'll get something seamless like that. That's kind of like that. That's what I want to go for. And now to make it animated, we change this to forty. 
and you just change the W. And the way to really procedurally animate it is by putting hash frame. It's case sensitive. Got to have it on lowercase. And now, whatever frame number this is on, it's going to put it in there. And right now, it's going a little bit too fast for my liking. So I'm just going to divide it by 60. And now, yeah, that, that's the look I'm going for. Okay. So now, let's get a color ramp. Put it there. Now let's stop that. And add a new one. Make that blue. Make that one a lighter blue. And then put this into the, the emission. Bring the strength up. And bam, we got our portal. And to make the other one, duplicate it. Click this to make it into a new texture that we can change. And it won't change this one. So change this to red, and then this to orange, and there we go. We got our other portal. And you can change these colors to whatever you want, but these are the colors I used for the video. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope I didn't explain that too confusingly. Um, hope that helps somebody. Yeah, bye.